بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Okay, so welcome to this first tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a workspace to work with ROS Java for ROS Hydro version. So first of all, make sure to have successfully installed ROS Hydro and ROS Java. You need to start from the installation. It's simple. And it is recommended to uh, perform the Debian installation by running this command. So once installed, we are now ready to, to create a ROS Java package. This is the workspace where you are going to create all your projects and files. I've made available a web page that provides several links to useful ROS Java tutorials and references. So you can find them in uh, the iRobo app project and here you have ROS Java tutorials and references. There are a lot of documentation, references, tutorials about different things. It might be useful to take a look to this web page if you need any help uh, about ROS Java. Okay, now assuming that ROS Java is installed, we are ready to create ROS Java packages and I'm going to base my tutorial on this uh, ROS wiki pages. So all you need to do first is to create a directory. Okay, so here I have a directory that is empty. That is called ROS Java where I'm going to create my workspace. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder inside the directory of my choice. So I'm going to call it Catkin WS ROS Java. That is Catkin Workspace for ROS Java. Now it is created. And then I will move inside this. I'm going to create a folder for source files. It's called SRC. And then I will create a first package called ROS Java Catkin Package A. <clears throat> so for this you need to run the command catkin underscore create underscore ROS Java underscore PKG and then you give the name of the package. So I'm going to create a package that is called ROS Java underscore catkin underscore package underscore A. So after some time it will create the package. So here it's the total time it's spent for building the package. Now, looking inside them, I can find the package ROS Java Catkin package A. So, same thing I can do for creating another package B. Or you can create any package with any other name. My package. So these packages will represent the location of the projects to be created later on. So after creating these packages, we need to compile the workspace. And for this, we need to go to the workspace folder. Okay. So now I am in Catkin WS ROS Java, where there is the SRC folder. And then I will write the command Catkin make. So now it's going to compile all the packages that I have created. So after compiling, if I make now a list the directory, there are three new directories that are created, one for the build, one for development and for the source. So looking into the develop folder, so now we have our setup.bash. So this script must be run. I need to run it using a source command. Okay, so source develop slash setup.bash and now so if you if you do like this it means now the workspace is activated and if you type ROS CD so by default you are you are going to be located in the catkin WS ROS Java work pack inside the folder default. So in order to avoid sourcing every time you open the terminal it's better to put it in the dot bash RC. So for this you need to edit the dot bash RC. So here we need to add source command okay a source command for this i need to find the file so see the the location of uh, i need to find the location <coughs> of the work package it's ros java catkin okay so this is the folder i'm going to reuse okay slash set up dot bash and that's it now every time we open a new terminal okay we will have our workspace activated so at this point there is nothing yet to compile 
because uh, the projects are empty and uh, the cat key may just configure the setup dot patch for uh, the workspace and now we can take a look at the content of the workspace i can open a key editor or you can open any editor or if preference now i am in home roast java okay so i have here so here inside the the cat key in workspace we have the source directory and the three packages that we have created or work packages so inside every work package there are different configuration files the cmake is the txt and the build.gradle this is uh, the super project gradle build rules uh, which are customized for ROS Java and also the package.xml where you can add your uh, dependencies so now we are done with the package creation before completing this tutorial I'm going to create a small application of Torkoal and Listener uh, we are not going into details so we'll keep the details for the next tutorial so for creating an application we can first create so I'm going to I'm going to create an application into ROS Java Catkin package A okay so I'm going to go to this package ROS Java A now I'm inside and before creating if you have a large project sometimes it's beneficial to create a sub project and for this you can run the comment catkin create ROS java project okay so i'm going to create a new project inside my package i'm going to call it ros java gradle sub project a and that's it now it's created now if i go here i find the ros java gradle sub project created but still i need to make a catkin make so it's going to get to take some time For building so this is the build time it took five seconds now we have our application created so when you create a project so by default ros java will create talker listener application so we can look at them by opening a kit so i've created my project inside uh, ros java catkin package a and this is ros java gradle sub project a and i will look inside the source main java com git hub so this is the package name and, and finally we'll find a talker and a listener so in the next tutorial i'm going to provide some details about talker and listener and how to run ROS nodes how to create and run ROS java nodes thank you for watching and if you have comments please send me your questions